Those hymns, that those seeds that were planted as a child are what carried her through her darkest days. You know, I grew up in a church that didn't sing hymns. Um, it, it seemed that as I was growing up, the worship was more about the worshiper and not so much about the one being worshiped. But it's been only in the past few years that I've really started to fall in love with hymns because they're so rich and they really, they talk about the attributes of God. They're worshipful. They talk to God and, and it's truly worshiping God for who he is. And my eyes have just been opened up to the beauty of singing hymns. So talk to us a little bit about why that is an important part of our family worship time. I had the opportunity to know Elizabeth Elliot. Oh, you, yeah. Did you know that? I, I actually have met her one time. I um, lived with her for a year. Wow. I did not live with her. I met her for like three okay. minutes. <laughs> well, I lived at her home. I was one of two men that boarded wow. with her and we would do chores. It was after her second husband had died of cancer. For those who do not know who she was, in 1956, her husband with four other men were seeking to take the gospel to the Waldani in Ecuador. And all five men died spears. The Waldani killed them. And she wrote a book called Through Gates of Splendor. And she wrote a bunch of other books, Elizabeth Elliot. But she told me, it was phrases from hymns that she learned as a child that carried her through her darkest days. So in the introduction to the hymn book that you have, that I'm reading from, I'll just read this one paragraph. She said, hymns will get you through the night. In January of 1956, when five women were waiting with bated breath to find out whether our husbands were dead or alive, I lay in bed in Nate Saint's home, my little daughter Valerie sick in a crib beside me. The hymn how firm a foundation with those magnificent words taken from Isaiah 43 sustained me, especially stanzas two, three, and six memorized when I was a child in our daily family prayer time. So what she told me was when she was growing up, her family would read one chapter of scripture a day and sing one hymn before they went off to school. And I know their mother, she also, I got to know her while I was living there, she was a pianist. I think her, her dad may have been one as well. But I could believe that they went through an entire hymn book because they were a very disciplined, structured family. But those hymns, that those seeds that were planted as a child are what carried her through her darkest days. You want me to sing you this first verse? I am just kidding. Sure. <laughs> but here's the words. Fear not, I am with thee. O oh, be not dismayed, for I am thy God, and I will still give thee aid. I'll strengthen thee, help thee, and cause you to stand, upheld by my righteous, omnipotent hand. When through the deep waters I call thee to go, the rivers of sorrow shall not overflow. For I will be with thee, thy trials to bless, and sanctify to thee thy deepest distress. In my own devotions, I sing hymns, sometimes twice a day sometimes more. And I'm still memorizing hymns because when I go on my prayer walks, it just clears the air. It is wonderful to proclaim and to worship God. And I agree with you. I like songs like, Oh, worship the King, all glorious above, and gratefully sing his power. And see, my focus is on him. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not on, yeah. And our maker, redeemer, our friend, I mean, it just, it deep stuff, but it, it inspires me and it's powerful stuff. So yeah, I love hymns, but I wanted to learn them with our family because when we would go on trips, at one point we had memorized nine hymns and we could sit in the car and we could sing for 45 minutes without repeating ourselves. And this was a lot more important than only a boy named David or the wise man builds his house upon the rock. So I love that so much. And I will spare our listeners. I will not sing for you. <laughs> but what we do, what I do with my girls is I will either play, which <laughs> our listeners know, I love Shane and Shane. I love their hymn album. Um, it is probably my favorite album. As a matter of fact, sometimes my girls are like, mom, do we have to listen to this again? Um, but I love it. And, um, and so we listen to that a lot of times, but sometimes I will honestly, like I'll find a hymn that I want to read. And oftentimes it's something out of your book, but I'm not about to sing it to my girls. 
Um, and so I'll find it on maybe YouTube or Amazon music or, you know, Spotify or something like that. I'll search for the specific hymn that I'm looking for and I will just play it and we'll listen to it. And sometimes we'll kind of sing along, you know, I'll, I'll sing under <laughs> the, the person who's actually singing well. Um, but it is such a beautiful way to just start out your homeschool day um, with worship or end your homeschool day with worship and just singing praises to the Lord because he is worthy. He is Amen. worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our, you know, just awe of him. You know, as we look at who he is as our father, um, just recognizing the power of God and his omniscience and his omnipotence and his omnipresence and who, who he really is. Um, you know, oftentimes it's so interesting, Garrett, he, he worked in the Hollywood film industry and people often are like, Ooh, did you meet any big stars? And people are so starstruck by Hollywood and by actors and by singers and all these people. And, you know, if you stood in front of them, if you came face to face with them, you know, on the streets, you would just probably be somewhat speechless. You wouldn't just walk up to them and be like, Hey, yo, what's going on? You know, you would for a moment just pause and go, Whoa, that's so-and-so we should be doing that with God because he's so much bigger than any of those people. Right. And we should Amen. stand in the presence of God and we should stand in awe of who he is as our creator and our savior. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 